Want to become as strong as a strapping basset hound? With our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, you can level up in epic boss fights, campaign battles, and PvP arena brawls on both your PC and mobile phone. With over 600 unique champions, start building your team and raid the day. Thor is one of the OG Avengers, but just how has the hammer-wielding god evolved on film? Let's find out now. Animated in The Incredible Hulk Returns, Donald Blake uses Mjolnir to summon Thor. He sports a Viking-inspired outfit with added fur, small gauntlets, embossed wings on his armor, and an egg-shaped helmet. He teams up with The Incredible Hulk to beat up a bunch of bad guys, setting up a Thor TV series that, uh, never got made. In his MCU debut, Thor wears plated boots, has a single thigh racer, torso armor with added circular discs, and his arms are fitted with chainmail sleeves and large gauntlets. He has a flowing red cape and unnaturally blonde brows. Plus, he occasionally wears a ceremonial winged helmet. His father forces Thor to prove his worthiness, banishing him to Earth, where he meets his future girlfriend, Jane Foster. Then, alongside his BFFs, he takes on a giant robot, controlled by his brother Loki, earning Thor his powers back. He then heads out to thwart his brother's diabolical plan. In The Avengers, his outfit is bluer, with brighter armor, a red stripe down his sides, no thigh racer, and slimmer gauntlets. He also has longer hair, naturally colored eyebrows, and a more stubbly beard. This film introduces his occasionally sleeveless arms, here paired with a less armored and capeless look. Thor, together with his fellow superheroes, helps take down reptilian aliens and his own slippery brother. Thor The Dark World features a much darker suit, with gold accents, chainmail on his thighs, simplified gauntlets, Outlets, a protective flap, taller boots, and his hair is even longer. He also occasionally wears a dark cloak. In this film, he portals a wannabe world-destroying elf to his demise. In Age of Ultron, his only wardrobe change is his gold accents turn silver. This time, he helps defeat evil sentient robots, and he also takes a quick bath, giving him a magical Infinity Stone-filled dream. In Thor Ragnarok, Thor's suit is leathery, lacking most of his armor, and his cape is more weathered. After his father passes, his wicked sister unleashes herself, destroying his hammer and sending him to the junk planet of Sakaar, where he's given a much-needed haircut and enhances his look with various scavenged parts, weaponry, and a fancy helmet to battle against the Hulk, only to later team up to protect Asgardians from a monstrous wolf and Thor's awful sister. While Thor loses his eye in the fight, he gains the Asgardian crown and quickly covers his wound with an eye patch. Then he, the Hulk, and the people of Asgard take off on a passage Ship. In Infinity War, Thor sports an all-black suit with no cape and scratched circular discs. This film starts with Thanos slaying his brother and destroying his ship, leaving Thor floating through space. But he's found by the Guardians of the Galaxy. The considerate rabbit member kindly gives him a brown iris eye. Later on, he adds a black-lined cape and darker chainmail to his look. He also uses his newly forged Stormbreaker axe to nearly defeat the Mad Titan. But he should have gone for the head. Endgame starts with Thor doing just that, and five years later he's let himself go and reluctantly rejoins the Avengers, suiting up in a gray Quantum Realm suit to go back in time to help collect Infinity Stones and say hello to his deceased mother. Plus, he grabs his old hammer. Afterwards, he suits up in a refitted Infinity War outfit with braided hair and a man bun to help defeat a second timeline Thanos. He then hands off his kingship to his pal Valkyrie, allowing him to join the Guardians of the Galaxy for epic adventure. Flashback scenes in Thor Love and Thunder feature him as an adorable armored baby, then as a young child, and finally as a teenager in a comic-accurate costume. In the present, he regains his god bod, and his right eye has somehow turned blue. He wears a red Ravager vest ensemble to fit in with the Guardians before they leave him behind. His first armored look is more streamlined, with a fur-collared cape, while his second armor is a shiny yellow and blue outfit with a large mask. In the last scene, this design is given a darker repaint. Earlier on, he's even seen wearing nothing at all! But we definitely can't show you that. This film also includes a terminally ill Jane Foster, who becomes the Mighty Thor, wearing red and silver armor with an added bicep bracer and her own helmet. Together, the two Thors face off against Gore the God Butcher. However, only the original Thor survives, adopting Gore's orphaned daughter. Finally, all done that animation, huh? Now you finally have time to check this out. Oof, Raid Shadow Legends? 
A triple A quality game with epic champions? That's right. So many champions with awesome skills and details. Way more details than your drawings, father. And this month, Raid has a non-stop schedule of activities, including Forge Pass Season 3, with a limited edition artifact set, as well as some new champions, and a new champion skin for Madame Ceres. Why, hello there. Don't even think about it. She's already agreed to a date with us this Friday. And something cool and long-awaited is happening this month. New players can use the link in the description or the handy QR code on screen to get the free champion tarot and a starter pack worth nearly $30. Wow, it's like a party in my phone and everyone's invited. Exactly. Now you'll find these rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days. So jump in and get raiding today. Thank you for watching. Check out more superhero, sci-fi, and horror evolutions over there. And a gigantic shout out to the beautiful patrons. Leave a mighty like on this video, subscribe, and tap that bell notification to know when new videos drop.